Hey guys, it's Mark Rizzotto here and welcome to the Wharton Talk webinar series part two with Andrew Funderbird. We're talking fundy, fundy today, but we're talking fundy in really, 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 really practical terms. We're not talking like what the software is overall and, and like as a, as a global like it's just awesome and check out all the features that we can do. We're literally going to do an in-person sales um, and go step by step from the very start um, from when the client walks through the door all the way to the order form. But the fun part is, is that Andrew's gonna teach us in two ways. One is the traditional way that we as photographers for the last 10 years have kind of grown up with <laughs> type thing. Probably 15 years. 15 years. Probably, yeah. About the others that are on here this call, how long that many years. But for me, <laughs> 12 years of ProSelect um, yeah. and 12 years of in-person kind of uh, sales. And the way that we would normally do that, client comes in, there's a slideshow, Bedazzle them with the slideshow. Happy face and sad face. So we're picking and choosing our favorite images. From the favorite images, you do wall art. From the wall art, you do albums. Then the extra prints. Then chuck it into an order form. And with the retouching notes, kind of take their money and spit it out and it's all done. That's the traditional way of doing it. The contemporary way of now doing it is pre-designing virtually everything for them and going, hey, with the conversation that we had on the appreciate questionnaire and what you really love to get out of your shoot, these are the four designs that I've come up with. This is the album. Great. If you want to swap and change the pictures, here's the other pictures. And therefore, your in-person sale, especially if you're doing same-day in-person uh, sales is going to be like 15 minutes to half an hour opposed to what we were used to which is an hour to like 45 minutes to an hour and a half so it's going to be really cool the thing that we do need to understand as well um same same but different if you've been to asia <laughs> you know that's saying quite a lot same same but different it's like um a PC kind of does what a Mac does, but it's a bit different. And a Mac kind of does what a PC does. A Canon and a Nikon kind of do the same thing. And when you change your system or when you look at a new software or a new flow, it kind of does the same kind of thing, but there's going to be things that you're looking for that it does have and it doesn't have and extra features and things like that. So Andrew's going to kind of break it down today to make it as practical as we can. Um, just like photography rules is like kind of know the system and know the flow. And then once you know the rules, you can break the rules because you can kind of, you know how mm -hmm. it should work. All right. So how's that for an intro, Andrew? Does that kind of sum it up for you? That's great. That's great. And, you know, in full disclosure, there, you know, just like anything, um, you know, there may be a lot you love about Funny Designer and there may be a few things that you don't like about it. And that's okay. You know, but choosing the best system that works for you um, and, you know, hopefully make a lot of money. Yep, right. and it's one so, of the things. I'll add one more thing with that. It's like iMovie and Adobe kind of Premiere. <laughs> Either way, you're going to come out with a movie. It's just how complicated you want to make it. So, funny software is so simple and easy to use, and I'm really excited about this. So, yeah, and that's what that's also that's very important. So we try to simplify everything, and when you simplify things, it means getting rid of certain things too, right? So. Cool. All right, so let's go, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. So can everybody see here now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so before we dive in, I wanna give you just a couple of resources. Um, this is in our storyteller group. You're more than welcome to join in. It's kind of questions about how to use the software. Um, but this is a post that I made last month um, just to kind of show you what people are doing. You know, one of our ambassadors told me he made an extra $40,000 in album upgrades last year. This is a person that's never done in-person sales before. You know, how about you? And so, you know, two weddings, an extra 14,000. These are all US dollars. Uh, I think mostly, you know, 12,000, 14 weddings, um, 350,000 in album designs or in just in albums, um, you know, $13,000 sale for a family session. Yeah. You, you know, just, so just to show you that people are using this to make, you know, very good livings in their, in their studio. So you say, you say it politely, I say it's a shit ton of money, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and, and cause I can, you know, I can say this all day long, but you know, I'm selling my software, so it doesn't really mean much. Yeah, right. cool. One of my favorites is, uh, where's, where's Jason? Oh yeah. Million dollars over three years. Boom. Done. Nice. Yeah. So nice. you're good. Yeah. Who doesn't want a million dollars over three years? That's awesome. 
Nobody. Everybody, or everybody wants that. Okay. So uh, funny to, and oh, one more thing. And then for a, a good resource, if you go to fundy.com slash guides, fundy.com slash guides, we have a studio setup guide and that goes over like where to put in your pricing and all of that and everything links out to blog posts to help you out. Uh, IPS guide that kind of goes over those pieces for the IPS workflow guide, which covers a lot of that. Like a lot of our customers will shoot raw and JPEG at the same time and then immediately load the JPEGs into Fundy. And then there's a really cool workflow that lets you go and just adjust those raw files uh, for whatever they order. And then the design guide kind of goes over all of the pieces of the design and Fundy designer. That is, we're almost finalized. Um, so that link will go live later, but the other three you can download right now. Very cool. So just kind of a good resource for everybody. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna close that, close this down. Okay, so Fundy Designer, you create a project just like you would with um, any, uh, you know, like Lightroom catalog or ProSelect has their project file. So you create a project file, you save it on a computer. It's just a desktop file. So you can move it to another computer. A lot of people will design on one computer and then run the sales session on another computer. You can just copy it over a network or throw it on a USB or whatever. So one of the things that makes Fundy Designer a little different than other programs is that once you have a project file, you can create as many albums as you want in that file. You can create as many wall art designs in that file, as many cards as you want in that file. And also you can create as many ordering sessions in that file. So if you have a family come in, mom and, you know, uh, maybe you do a children's session and mom and dad are divorced. So you run two separate sessions Well, you can run those two sales sessions just in one project file. You don't have to create another project file for them. Cool. Um, you can, um, you know, maybe grandma comes in later and wants to order. So all of those things. So one project file can store a lot more than just one session. Awesome. Um, if you're a wedding photographer, you can take the main album, duplicate it for parent albums, um, you know, same, right? So you can, you can duplicate all that stuff. So the workflow is uh, raw, raw files into Lightroom, Lightroom to JPEG, import your JPEGs, or raw and JPEG in the camera, import your straight out of camera JPEGs to go to the sales session. And then we'll kind of cover the, um, uh, the workflow afterwards once we're done. Awesome. Awesome. So from there, we go find our pictures. If you're disorganized like me, it might take you a little bit. Um, I did pretty good this time. Um, when we bring those in, they create smaller proxy files, so everything works really fast. Um, when you set things up on your TV or projector, um, you probably want to do a test and see how they um, display. So you want to display them nice, but at the same time, we want to keep files low so that everything runs fast. Yeah, cool. Under under the, um, let's see, is it under the view or the... So under the edit menu, you can set the size of your uh, proxy files. Oh, nice. Right? So smaller is faster. <laughs> the bigger is prettier. Find the setting that serves you best. And if you're working on a projector anyway, it's going to be a bit kind of softer. So faster is probably going to be better. But if you're working off a high definition TV, then you need to play with yeah. it fast to see if it's going to work. Yeah. Pro yeah, probably for me, my sweet spot is I love a, a 1080p projector at like the 2000 pixel setting. Yeah, cool. That's kind of my sweet spot. Cool. Right. I even, I even, a 720p projector is great. You can get those for like 400 bucks and it's plenty of resolution. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. It nice is. One. So um, we've imported okay. the images and we're in. I've imported the images and then we're in. And you can kind of see that the stars are here. So stars are just a uh, metadata. So they'll travel from Lightroom or whatever. Oh, awesome. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the zero key and zero those out. Um, everything, uh, it's very keyboard friendly. One, two, three, four, five is the stars. F is the favorite key. Yep. Um, all of your keyboard shortcuts are under the help menu. Yep. Um, there's a ton of them. So once you get things going, yeah. So let's go ahead and look at your traditional workflow. Yeah. So first thing I, is, 
We're going to make yes. a slideshow. We are going to make a slideshow. Although I highly recommend before you make a slideshow that you create the album and the wall art and the card sub project. So there's a place to put these things before your client arrives. So you don't create these on the fly. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go new album. Um, I know that Mark, I know you love brilliant uh, prints. Yeah. I can't spell today. Brilliant prints. Or so I think brilliant prints. Yeah, there it is. Right. So uh, we'll, I'll just do a flush mount album. We'll do a 10 by 10. Um, I'll do a cutout. What's a cutout? A cutout would be like a little uh, cameo. I think you guys oh, okay. refer them as cameo. Oh, yep. front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the front. I'll just do yep. a little cameo just for fun. Yep. Awesome. Album. And then I'm going to create a gallery. Um, I would recommend, uh, do you guys do metric or standard in Australia usually? We use inches. Yeah, good. Yeah. So I would recommend just choosing the uh, standard, Wall Art Standard Lab. It's, yep. it's non denominational. Yep. Right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you like that? It took me a little while to catch that one, but yeah. It's no. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in a few different kinds of rooms in here just to kind of prep before the client comes in. Okay, now if I have the client room that they've yep. sent to me, I can upload yep. their file. How do Correct. I um, how do I style that? Okay, super easy. So once you have this open, I'm going to go over here to this little import icon on the bottom left. Yep. I'm going to click it. I'm going to go find my room. I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to re. Oh, look at that. I have a room. This is obviously a stock room, but you can yep. pretend it's a, a client room. Yep. And when it opens, when it first opens, you just grab this, this uh, black line and you measure something. Yeah. One of the things that's really nice with ours is it's free form. So you can measure diagonally. So if they say they have a 50 inch TV, perfect. right. You just measure that. So I don't know. I bet that's like 48 inches or something probably. Yeah. Right. And then this, this is kind of the auto design area. This is where the program will try to automatically play stuff if you use the kind of auto design. Perfect, which is what we're gonna do anyway. Yeah, so, and then here, this is important. So make this room available on all projects. I'm gonna click no, because this is just this client's room. So that toggle is there for, let's say you go to Creative Market and you wanna purchase some stock imagery, stock rooms. Yeah. You can do that. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I'm going to do that and then let's go ahead and bring that in there. Um, and then also just so you know, under the design library, you can download a bunch more stock rooms. Cool. Now just with the stock rooms as a bit of a, a side thought, um, yeah. these stock rooms are royalty free. We can, yes, every, everything's yep. Everything in here is royalty free. So, um, all of the music you can post online, um, all of the stock rooms you can post online. And this is kind of, we put in these booths here for cool. bridal shows, right? Or, or if you have a show, you can kind of mock something up. That's cool. Uh, With the, the room views though, you can et export those high res, put them in brochures, booklets, flyers, everything. Website, social, it's freaking all awesome. that stuff. So no yeah. more scrolling through Creative Market, Adobe Stock, iPhoto. Yeah. You it's have just all there. Across. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. So that is just, and, we should, and we'll have a whole new batch of, um, uh, new rooms coming up pretty soon too. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we got all the rooms. So, so I recommend just kind of, you know, creating some of this collateral. I'm going to go ahead and create a card too, like a holiday card. Okay. Like a first birthday card or something. Okay. Well, it's this, uh, we got a family. We'll, we'll do fifth birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that, that kid looked older. Right. And so we'll do uh, we'll just uh, there we go. We'll do that one. Yeah. Okay. And then again, also with the cards, the design library has like 50 plus card designs and we're always adding more. Cool. All right. So got a little pre-designed stuff in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the wall art because I personally like to start, start with wall art with families when we get to that point. Just leave that open. Okay. So now the question is, is the second window. So some, this is also where mileage may vary. Um, some of our customers 
actually just present like this and they just mirror their monitor, yeah. right? And they just kind of go to town like this. Um, they've had a lot of customers comment on how they actually like viewing the interspace and kind of seeing everything. Yeah. Because it looks like a modern thing. That's another thing where I feel like things have changed. 10 or 15 years ago, like we like to hide the behind the scenes on the computers. No. Sure. Right? So these, these days, like they know there's a computer program for doing this stuff and they know stuff works and it just like modern customers are very savvy with stuff yep. like that. Um, so you can go back and forth between the two programs by, you know, click here to go back to the wall art. So, so what you're saying is that program, that, that button that you push there, that is when you look at files individually. So and it's a little bit different. So this, this window is the design window. Yep. And then this other window, here's a nice cool tip too. If you do the com command tilde, we'll flip back and forth between windows on, on any computer, any program. Cool. That's just kind of a, so, and then this is the, um, here we have, Oh, this is like the client window. This is the client window. Yep. And then our compare, I don't have any images selected. And then yep. this will give a preview of whatever design you have selected. So let me, I can select a, right. have a blank, a blank room. Right. So we've, we've done, we've, we've really designed this much differently than say you're used to in a pro select. Yeah. Cool. You know, for better or for worse, whatever this, it's just kind of a different design. It's a different approach. Um, just to kind of, you know, Right. Well, let's, things up. let's speed through. Let's create a quick yeah. album. Let's put some wall art and let's do it. Okay, well, first let's do a slideshow. So we're going to create a slideshow. Uh, we'll do, you know, whatever the family's name is. Um, you can choose your fonts. Um, here's all of these songs in here. Um, this, uh, just a pro tip, this high school senior song one, that's a, that makes people cry right there. That's a good crier right there. Last one. Right. And then, all of these settings and timings and et cetera. One of the things that makes our slideshow different is that if we pre-design everything or we want to just after they've chosen their favorites and they design, if you want to just do a slideshow of the album or just the wall art or everything all at once, you can do that too. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And so now the slideshow is ready. Yeah. Right? So, and this then, is, so this is a variation where there's no pre-design at all. It is literally just, Correct. Yeah. All the, I think I forgot to actually add images. So um, we're going to definitely have to put all of the images in there. I, I said play, I said play favorites and I didn't have anything favorited. So it played nothing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> all right, <cool. laughs> User error. Right. And so you guys can't hear the music it's playing through my headphones right now, but that's a music show. And cool. then from there we'll go here and then we can go, to this view yeah and we go through the images and then we can either we can this is where the flexibility we can use the f key to favorite yeah we can use the stars if we want yeah i like to start with the favorite and then use the stars as like oh these are going to be album or these are going to be wall selects you know um, one thing one yep. thing that we did um that is 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 kind of fun is we added you can use the up and down keys instead so yeah. the up key will favorite and move to the next. Yeah. And then the down key will not favorite and move to the next. So it's like up is yes, down is no. Yeah, that's really cool. Right? If oh. I wanted to, can I ask a quick question here? Sure, yeah. Um, if I wanted to show, so the way I work through it is, here's four, tell me if it's a yes, no, or a maybe. Now I know I need yep. to think outside the yes, no, maybe system. Yep. But if that's, if I want to sort of, not do super, one image by one image. How mm -hmm. do I bring them all up? Super, then? super easy. So we'll go to this AB view here mm -hmm. and then let's do just that. So we'll choose here. I'll choose that are kind of some of the favorite. So I'm going to, I'm holding down the command key so I can pull up four at a time here. Cool. Right. What's that black slider under each image? Oh, it's just so you can zoom in a little bit. Zoom in and out. Quite I see. But I thought, yeah, cool. Awesome. Yep. Yep. So you can zoom in and out. All right, so I'm going to pick um, top right and bottom right as well. Okay, I got just so you know the the webinar stuff is kind of in my way here, so I have to move that down here. Okay. So those two are yes. I'm going to click that and uncheck that one. Yeah. So those two are favorited, and then I can go like this. 
and guy still good, still good with those two yeah and they're like, yeah okay great so now i'm going to hold the shift key and we'll go to the next four awesome kate are you cool with that yep yeah yeah i just so you had the four up and you mm -hmm. clicked the love heart yep yep and then you just went on to the next four just one of the next four Oh, and I, one, I took one extra step where I actually X'd out the nose. And oh, so I can okay, say, okay, so, right. yeah, 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 and yeah. I can say, okay, just Sorry. to confirm these, these are good. You like these? Yeah, I just missed that X yeah, out. Not a, okay, not cool. a necessary step, just, yeah. you know. Hey, um, yeah. let's just say we're looking at the right hand picture, Andrew. Do you want to bring the right yeah. picture up? And you go, can I see that in black and white? So this is where our black and white is in the design. Okay. Cool. So we'll That's do that fine, after we the, design. The yeah. First, like black and white sucked anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll show that in the design. There's a very good chance in the winter that you'll be able to black and white on the fly like that. Yeah. Cool. But you've got the skin correction, which is. Yeah, we didn't go over that. So I kind of forgot. So let's back up. So that's, does that answer your question? Oh, yeah, it totally does. But can we yeah. keep going with the whole, let's choose 15 images for the album. Yeah. And, and we will. I just wanted to show oh, you okay. real quick. Before starting the session, um, I recommend uh, we have our built-in skin retouching. And this, we're still collecting data, but preliminary data says that it really helps sales. So in one click, I can do that. So if you're doing in uh, same day IPS, this is yeah. a massive game changer for you guys. And then I'm gonna hit sync. So I, I did skin retouching on this whole session in two seconds. Mind blown, right there. That's freaking right. rad. So everything's retouched. Beautiful. So now let's do this. I'm just gonna, so we all saw how you can go through with the client and add the hearts and all that. So I'm just gonna go through and like, let's go through and just heart some stuff really fast so we have those images available. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go through, we'll go here, here. Uh, this is a really small session, so I'm gonna. F I'll just favorite most of them. Skip that one. We'll do that. Cool. Do this guy. This guy. Boom. Okay. So we did. We did most of them. Okay. So here's our favorites. Can we just see the favorites? Yep. So we went from. Um, so. ProSelex has kind of a bucket folder system. Yep. We went to a filter system just like Lightroom because it's how most programs work. So we're just gonna filter down to the hearts. So there's our favorites. Oh, easy, love right. it. If, if you wanna see the non-favorites, same thing, right? Yep. Just filter out. Um, the bonus about this is we can go, um, I wanna see the favorites that are five stars. Yeah, cool, awesome. So it gives a lot more flexibility in what you can show and hide. Yep. Right. Cool. Okay, so here's here's the favorites. So from here, do we want to design wall art or do we want and to design? I, I had the children here one day. Yes, and I thought. Uh, oh, so, sorry, talking. I was having trouble hearing. Go go ahead. Now someone's talking in the background. I don't know who it is. Thank you. Oh, oh, that talking does. That's just on. All right, let's do wall art first. Let's go, Andrew. Okay. I want to do a big one in the middle and four on the outside. How do I okay. do that? in the lounge? Awesome. Room? Awesome. Great. So I'm going to switch over to here. And so if this is on our projector, our client will be seeing these appear live, but they won't be seeing kind of the behind the scenes. Okay. Right. So I'll kind of flip back and forth of what the client is seeing. So, so let's go here. Um, we're going to go to, um, let's go download, right? Let's go to our collections and then let's download your set here. I want to show people that. So if you go in the design library, wall collections, we can download your set. Yep. So that's the Mark Rosetto collections. And then yep. we've got and so now it's open to the, um, the brilliant prints layouts and collections yeah. now as well. Yep. And so just like, I'm going to turn the sizes on real quick so we can see the sizes of, so we can see which one's which, you know, and one, also one of the beautiful things about the software is that once you design, you can print anything anywhere. Like if you choose X lab, you can print it a different lab because it sizes everything intelligently. 
Yeah. So do you want this guy, guy or this guy? Let's go far left. Far okay. Top. Yep. That's the one. Yep. That's the one that that's I think it. would work. Yep. And so we're going to go here and then we just drop in as we go. Now, this is my favorite part though. Mm -hmm. And I go, or oh, I like that layout, but what does it look in the other layouts? This is my button. This is a favorite button. What does it look in the other layouts? Dun, 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 dun. I love it. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go there. And we'll screw that guy down so we don't cut his head off. Yeah. And it's done for you. So if someone is, so photographers out there, if you're getting confused or a pricing issue where it's like, I don't want to pay that much, but I really love. So if you stop it mm -hmm. there, top left-hand corner, yeah. 30 by 20 yeah, by okay. 30. Yep. That one there. Perfect. Now, if I go, Hey, I love that. What's the net size up? You can just make it bigger straight away. So you can do, yeah. So you can go back to your layouts or you can just grab this and go a little bit bigger. And there you go. How cool is that? Right. Super yeah. flexible. I'm like, oh, it's cutting off this guy's head. Well, let's do that. Let's make that, let's make this a square. And this is square. Yeah. So super fun. So let's go ahead and we'll just go through and quickly design a few options here. Is we'll put this one in the hallway of mom and dad. Oops. Yeah, cool. Stop. So I'm just going to design a few so that we have some designed um, for when uh, I sh we show the kind of more contemporary style here. So I'm going to drop that in there. Like that guy there. And then I'll just design one more and then we'll be good to go. Right, and we can also always double click on this and go into the bigger view, right? Cool. So the, the method that you're gonna show afterwards Mm -hmm. pre-design all of this for the clients so we don't spend time with them doing this. So exactly. So one of the things that um, with wall art that I feel um, that, that I've personally seen a lot of success with is you, you pre-design four or five rooms yep. and I'll show you in a little bit, you show the slideshow and then the very first question you ask, which design do you like? Yeah. And then they're, they're committed on a design and then you're just choosing which photos they want in there. Yeah. It's awesome. So it's like a, it's like a yes, yes, yes conversation. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. All right. I'll go ahead and delete that. So if you're doing, um, wall art with your clients, so you say, okay, great. We've designed these, you know what, let's go ahead and take a moment and just do a, see these in a slideshow real quick. Oh, and let me show you. So you can see, I'm going to do this right here. So you can see when I select a new room, this is the view that they're seeing in this design view, right? So it's nice and big and happy and all of that stuff. Very cool. And if we want to, we can do a slideshow um, with just the wall art if we want. And then Well, uh, beautiful. And it goes into the. Yeah. Love it. Right. Love it. Yeah. Cool. And then for marketing purposes, you would um, export wall preview if you want to export those previews. And that will be used in brochures, booklets, flyers. Exactly. All sorts of things. So now let's go into the album and this is kind of my favorite and I, the, a lot of our clients will just do this in front of the client and they think it is so cool. Yeah. Like they actually show them behind the scenes and the clients are like, wow, this is awesome. So let's go ahead and design a, I'm going to do a 16 page album 
We don't want to do the entire collection. We want to do filtered images because we filter down to the favorites. Yep. And then actually let's do 14 because we have 17 images that'll probably work out better. I go design. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and look, it's perfect. Like I don't see anything to change really, except, oh, we got to change the cropping on this guy right here. But, yeah. and that guy, so there we go. Yeah, cool, cool. So if I go now, if I say, hey, can you put the one with the family standing mm -hmm. in page number 10 and swap that with page number eight, the little boy by himself on the crate? Dun, 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 dun. Love it. It's so easy. Yeah. We can move, move the pages around. Go yep. choose a different layout if we want. Can you just do that layout thing again? Because I think that was too quick. Show them that's yeah. the button with yep. the four squares. So yeah, so we call this our quick design picker. And so we have all these different designs you can go through. For people that are wedding photographers, we have signing book designs. Yeah. Um, and for people who want something a little bit more graphic, we have our design sets, which you can download from the design library. And there's like newborn ones and family and all yeah. sorts of different stuff. Yeah. Very cool. So let's just go back to the north. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So if I just go, hey, can mm -hmm. I put can I put a big pano of image number page number three, and add an extra page to the album? Yeah. How do I, yeah. How do I, how do I, so you just drop it in between, and we'll add another page. Perfect. Easy. And there's no reason you don't have to do this in front of the client, can you? This can just be post production. If I just say all the love hearts. Uh, Album and I just just design. Totally, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yes, awesome. you do whatever you want. Yep. To be honest, Kate, though, I'd probably do it in front of the client because they'll look at it and then there's no, there's no thinking of going. Oh, I wonder if they like this picture or that picture or that. Yeah. Picture. But I'm saying, and, and, and one thing, and one thing you can do too is if you are doing the two window technique, they haven't seen anything yet, and you can show them just you know the first page and be like, Hey, I designed this, the first page of your album. You want to see a slideshow of it. And then you just create a slideshow and you show them just the album. Yeah. Like they're like, they can't say no. Yeah. And wedding photographers, this is how we would do presentation yep. of the album before you go through right. the album. And then, yeah. Very cool. So, and then the only thing we didn't show, and it's super anticlimactic because you're like, okay, card's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. You know, you, you know, you change, you can change the colors, and you know, yeah, you know, we can change this to, you know, I don't know. All right, so let's let's go through. Can let's Mark, just go. Yes, there you right. go. That's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. Let's just pretend that we're at the pointy end of our deal now. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's yep. just go, I want to great lock away a mm -hmm. wall art collection and an album yep. and two eight by tens. Yep. So let's do, oh let me God. show you really super, super quick behind the scenes with pricing setup, just so it kind of shows you guys know where that is. Perfect. So let's go, let's pretend like they purchased this one. Okay. So one of the first thing you're going to do in Funny Designer is set up your studio with all your pricing and stuff. So I'm going to save this collection to my collections as whatever that collection name is. We'll call it Fancy Fancy Mark. That's the name of the collection. Yeah. Fancy Fancy Mark. I get that quite yeah. a lot. Okay. And then how much would that be? Fancy. Um, that's $3,950. Okay. All right. So there we go. So that's the Fancy Fancy. Um, and then under client orders, I'm going to edit my product pricing. And so let's go to my albums and books. Um, album 10 by 10. And then how much, how do you recommend setting let's pricing make it, your album? Let's just make it 1500. Just. Okay. Do you do per album or per photo or? Okay, so it's very dynamic pricing setup. It depends on the products, but for portraits, it's just the one price, whatever's in the album. So one yeah, price, yep. fifteen hundred. If it was Great. for the wedding, would be one price yep. for the amount of pages, and then each page is an extra hundred bucks or something. Yep. 
Great. So let's do, just so you can see how this works out, let's do a thousand photos for the first 10 images and then each uh, extra photo is a hundred dollars. Okay. Just so you can see how it's kind of dynamic and what it does. Um, yep. I have some card pricing set up. We'll just leave that. Um, let's go over to the print pricing. Um, I'm just going to do the generic standard and let, I'm going to deselect all. And so I'm just going to set up, um, I'm just going to set up the eight by tens for now. Yep. So let's make those, let's make the eight by ten seventy five dollars And so that'll just be that. And with the pricing, you can set your loose prints one price and then you can bulk set your pricing on say your metals and canvases and acrylic. So they're all the same price or whatever you want. Yeah, cool. But if what you sell mostly is the collections, you don't have to set up your individual pricing. Okay, cool. Right. You can, so like, like if I'm, if I'm, you know, I shoot one portrait every three years. <laughs> it's like my current <laughs> rhythm and I have my collections and then I have five by seven, eight by 10 prints and that's it. Yeah. For the individuals. Yeah, cool. So if you set up, I don't have my logo and I haven't set up my tax and stuff, but that's all in that same location. Yeah. Okay. So then they say, okay, great. We want to get the album. So I'm going to go client orders, add album. I'm going to choose my album because remember you can have multiple albums in a project. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to choose my portrait album. It gave my base pricing and then it looked like we had uh, seven extra photos. Beautiful. I'm going to add that to the order. Um, let's go ahead and add the gallery, which room was it? It was the room. Oh, it's, it's the last one. Yep. There we go. <laughs> um, and looks like I didn't hit save, <laughs> but if you had hit save, then that's where the pricing would show up automatically there. And let's then I want to order two eight by tens. Yep. Oh, I'm going to add the card. We want some cards for the fifth oh, birthday. Yeah. Oh, this one card. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm going to do the cards and then let's go, let's go into the, uh, individual wow. view here. That's a beautiful this grandma photo. photo. Yep. Great. So I'm going to add the print and then, oops, let me close that. So I just want to, I'm going to go here. The, in this window, uh, it's easier to use that button right there. So I'm going to add the print. Um, I think the eight by 10 is what we set up. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And then obviously. We okay. So that. the notes there, see the notes. So yep. that's where you put the retouching notes. Sure. You can be like, um, you know, yep. retouch flyaways. Okay. So if I wanted to crop that now, if I wanted mm -hmm. to kind of crop it, move it, Awesome, and then I'm perfect, excellent, that's all I want to see. And then you can twist it slightly if need be. Yeah, awesome, love it. I'm gonna add that to the order. Okay. I did just put one, but that's where you could put four or five or whatever. Yeah. If, if you are selling um, the like print boxes and stuff, you know, like the matted print boxes, yeah. you can set that up under the uh, other column. So I'm going to do matted print boxes with 10 photos. So I'm going to add that to the order and you can go, this is where you can decide which photos go into that. So here we see that matted print box. We can just grab these guys and drop them into there. <laughs> Come on comments. That's awesome. That is so <laughs> freaking rad. That is just, that's, that's just, that's sick. That's cool as. So this is kind of your preview. And then here we'll go to the view order. This is, I don't have my logo set up, et cetera. Yeah. And then here is all the info and your notes and all of that in the settings. If you want to hide thumbnails, you can, if you want to hide the individual prices, you can. So there's all these different ways you can choose to present stuff. All right. So if we go down the bottom and you go, that's 7,250, how would you like to pay for that? And they go, can we pay half mm -hmm. or can we pay, let's pay 5,000 now. Yep. How would you edit so, that? So we don't, um, in our order form, we don't do any of that monetary stuff. Okay. Yep. So this is to recording the sale. And yep. then um, most, most of our customers will put that into their studio management system. Right. So they might just make a note here of what was paid and then they'll put that down. They'll recreate this order in their studio management system. 
and then put down that they've paid a certain amount. Yeah, and cool. what we've done here too, if you go under export, you can export for studio management XML. So okay. light blue, Studio Ninja, all the major players, you can import that order. Yeah. Can you just can you go printable PDF to see what yeah. it's gonna look like when we print it out? Yeah, it looks pretty much exactly like this. Um Andrew, quick question. Can you get rid of the client name, client signature, photographer name, photographer signature? Um, no, that's on there all the time. Okay, thanks. Yep. Um, Do you not want that, Kate? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no? It's not the end of the world. But. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. You just put initials or whatever. So okay, so see? It's like that. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking so from my perspective as I've got a retoucher, mm -hmm. what I would normally do in the past is send them their order form to go, here's the pictures, here's the sizes, here's the retouching, mm -hmm. kind of go for it. Yeah. Um like this is awesome for the client, but from my yep. headspace, yeah, awesome. Love it. Right. So here's studio worksheet. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Right. Let me um let me put this somewhere where I know it's going to be. So there's a couple things, right? So here's just a quick thing of uh, the order. Here's the album. These are all of the images that are in the album. Yeah. Here's the wall art and the sizes and the images. Yeah. For the retouching. Also, this has been formatted for Lightroom. So you can copy and paste this into the Lightroom search bar and it will pull up just those photos. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. Nice. That's very cool. So, so, from, so from a workflow, what I would recommend is that you, if you have a studio manager, I would recommend that you pass this along also with the project file. Yeah. Because once they retouch the photos, put them into a new folder that says retouched or whatever, and we're kind of getting into the workflow here. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. under images, I'm going to go to resync images and point it to that new folder. Okay. So it's all the retouch okay. images. Yep. And so from there, I can open the album up and export it. And it'll export those, the album pages ready to print. From the wall art, when I go to export for print, it does all of the upsizing and downsizing and cropping for you. So you don't have to involve Photoshop in this process. Fantastic. So okay. let me show you, this is going to take a little bit to export, but I would really like you to see this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, let's browse that. I'm going to, uh, while see. you're doing that, if anyone has any questions, pop it into the chat bar because if this has to spend a little bit to export, pop it in there. Um, yeah. Kate, are you pretty cool with all this? Is that answered most of your questions? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I am interested to see the sort of the high res export thing that's happening now because I could get it to, and I think your support um, people said it's not something that happens now, but is looking at, at in the future where it exports into a folder, but it just dumps all the sizes in the one folder. But to mm -hmm. have that broken up into this is a folder of the 507s, this is a folder of the 8x10s, this is a folder of the 20x30s, et cetera, et cetera, would yeah, be mind-blowingly yeah. awesome. Yeah, we don't have that on the immediate horizon. Oh, okay. Um, but I do want to show you that when you do export, they're exported and we change the actual names of the files to be the sizes they need to be printed at. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Um, and then if you go... Right. So, and so these are all at 300 DPI at their resolutions now. So they're ready to go to print. Um, let me just let me go. So we, on our blog, we have like an example. Uh, and I'm assuming it just exports the pages for the album as well. Oops. Same deal. Correct. Yeah. It exports the pages ready to print. So everything is, um, I'm trying to find, there's a blog post, upsizing, downsizing, upsizing. I forget what it's called. So, uh, by Q, maybe that'll pull it up. 
this is quite a lot. We actually did this in 2015. So you'll notice that the interface is a little different. Okay, so here we go. So right and left, that's that's 400% upsizing in Photoshop and Fundy, side by side. Yeah, cool. Very so, cool. which is a yeah. So four hundred percent, like that's a big, that's a big upsize. So, like you're just so you know it. I'm a huge workflow guy, so anything, anytime I can save some time there. Yeah. Right, and then um, so same thing with the album. So you export that, and then also with the prints. So let me let me add a couple more prints here, just so you can kind of see what we're doing. Cool. Are you so awesome that I can ask a question at the same time of you doing two things because you're so f fluent or just kind of let you be? Yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> um, can you do a uh, circle prints? We cannot right now. That's you can right. do circles in albums, but the circle prints we don't do right now. Um, so uh, you you asked about the loose prints. So here's an example when you export the loose prints. So here are the, here's the print order and you can see uh, the eight by 10 and five by seven are in the file names ready to go. And then you've got the wall art. And there then the wall art. So yeah. kind of, and then if you did an album, there'd be an album folder as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, then, and you cool. choose where you want to put that and you can name the folders, whatever you want. And then you can just, if it's, if you're working with brilliant prints or kind of sell it or whatever kind of lab, you just put that into your Dropbox and they will print it because the sizes are already done. The retouch is done. The crop is done. You yeah. just come um, what the product is. Yeah. Yep. So for those people out there, you would, what I would do is right beside the size, what the product is, canvas, frame, a box canvas with, well, uh, with an oak frame and stuff, but your labs will know what and how you put it anyway. So therefore we're eliminating the risk of uh, uh, misprints and stuffing up and ordering, ordering the wrong thing and all that and type one of thing. One thing you can do too, is you can export each wall separately. And then when you choose, where do I want to save that? Just name that folder acrylic and all goes in there. Name the yeah. folder metal and it all goes in there. Right. And so. Awesome. The biggest issue that most, prints ha um, um, that uh, most uh, photographers have <laughs> stupidity <laughs> is, is when we order the wrong thing. Like it's just yeah. like, it's the only time that we waste a shit ton of money is when yeah. we accidentally order the wrong thing and the lab mm -hmm. just decides to print it. Cause that's what you've ordered. Yeah. But they just do what They do what you tell them to do. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So if you've got a good lab, they will see the size and they'll see the product kind of name. And then if yeah. you accidentally put it in the wrong folder or the, or you've accidentally done the wrong size, they can kind of, kind of uh, flag it and go, Hey, you've ordered this, but the file says this, which one is it that you want? Yeah. And then you've saved yourself $300 on reprints. Yeah. So what I would do is for example, this is acrylic and then you just go uh, uh, acrylic. Right. And then I'll export to that folder. Yeah. Cool. All right. Happy days. Yeah. So that's, that's how I would do that. Awesome. That pretty much. Yeah. And then, um, you know, if you go take a peek at that workflow guide, um, that I showed you guys yep. under just that we'll let, uh, let this finish. Oh wait, it'll show here. So we have, you know, we have, um, let me go back. Um, Export images for retouching. We'll take every image that's in a design or an order, copy them to a folder for you, so you know what you need to. That's awesome. Retouch. Um, there's copy list for Lightroom. Cool. So the best part about this, you not know, to... export filtered images, and not to compare too much. But the best part about this, this is the high resolution output without having to pay extra for it. Like it's all it's all in there. Like the system's all there and it's all easy to read and it's all folded and systemized and stuff. I think it's absolutely rad. Very cool. All right. Not to take too much of your time. Yeah. The afternoon and it's almost kind of knock off. Um, I guess that's, that's the traditional way of showing yeah. your folders. I mm -hmm. guess the contemporary way is really the same thing, but pre-design the album pre-design mm -hmm. the wall art, then 
before the client comes in, in the slideshow, you click that you want to create the slideshow with yeah. the individual and at the end, put the wall art and an album. Yeah. So yeah, so let me show you uh, super quick, it'll take two minutes. Uh, let me unfavorite all of these. They all disappeared because I had filtered's favorite or favorites filtered there. So, um, it's like the program's kind of catching up with me. There we go. So, what I like doing is I will personally favorite like, I don't know, five or six photos. Yep. Or whatever, maybe 20% of the shoot. And then create slideshow. I'm going to name the family name, choose my music, and then I'll go favorite images. So we're not showing them all. I'll do album, wall art, the card. You can do different timing for different items. So I can make the album play a little bit longer because there's more images, a little bit more difficult to take in. I can make the gallery play a little bit longer. I love it. That is so um, rad. And then put my logo. The playback sequence only matters for images because you don't want the album to play out of order, obviously. So that playback sequence only applying to images and then I hit play. And then now you get to be really lazy as you just let them watch the whole slideshow and ask if they want to buy it or not and ask what they want to change. You have to press space bar. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> here, I'll, go, I'll go ahead. Here so you can kind of hear the music should be able to hear it a little bit. I know in Zoom there's a way you can play the music through the program. I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. That's right. No, no. Until a lot of our clients have figured that out and they make pretty good sales over Zoom. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Right, so we're into the album and plays the album and then it goes. So just, you know, you just basically design everything, set it up, let it play, and then... I think this for in-person uh, same-day IPS is a massive game changer. And also, D, I know uh, D's here. Um, you do same day IPS, D. And this will just be, this will be huge. Yeah, you've just written, yeah, massive for me. Because then literally, you just select a couple of favorites, put it in the album, do your wall art. And if you go for the album 90% of the time anyway, the album will be done. And then you just want to select the last few for the wall art. And you're done. They could walk out the door and then you just create the order after they leave with all the back end stuff so you they don't have to stuff around kind of with you. So there's a few ways that you can implement that. But now uh, this is right, Andrew. Thank you so much for your time. Well, that's you. I hope that uh, I hope that helps. You know, I hope that explains the system better, um, helps people uh, that have come on board to understand how to get the most out of the software and if you know you, you really just wanted to learn more about how it works. I hope that is a good overview for you guys. It is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna, um, do you wanna stop share screen? So oh, let, yeah. Yeah. let me- uh, And we'll just answer these last kind of questions for everyone and be able to let you guys- let you think, go uh, Oh, there we go. Um, there we go, yep. Beautiful, okay, so just a few questions here. So, um, can we set up the pricing and then export it in a way that we can use it for printing pamphlets? Can we set up the pricing and then export it in a way that we can use it for our print pamphlets? What does that mean? Let's go and I'm um, uh, just gonna- not, <laughs> not really, I, I get what, you, what they're getting at. Um, if like in a pretty format. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yes and no. So. So first of all, once you set up your pricing under the edit menu, you can export your settings so that you can put the same settings on another computer, which I know is a different an, an answer to a different question, but a lot of people want to know that, right? So if you have multiple computers in the studio, you can set it up once and then share those settings. Um, we do have, uh, which we went over in the last webinar, um, studio magazine designs and pricing card designs and stuff like that, but there isn't a way to export those in in any format like that okay yeah so it's gonna take a little bit of extra work yeah. yeah but hopefully you don't have that many prices right <laughs> yeah yes <yeah. Yeah>. <laughs> we're working on that aren't we Ann? <laughs> i've got a meeting with mark about that soon cool. yeah i know mark's the same probably the same way so what what i was taught is that if you can't remember all the prices to everything that you offer you have too many 
things and too many prices. No That's, shit. A good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. All right. I'm, and I'm getting older, so I remember less and less. So you just remove the products. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Awesome. Now, uh, Matthew's asked, are we able to use other music from for slideshows or is it just what's available? Like if the, if the bride and groom has their own kind of bridal dance? Yeah, so there's, there's a lot in the design library you can download. Um, there's a few thousand dollars worth of songs to download, but um, you can import any on a Mac. It needs to be in an MP3 format and on a Windows, it needs to be a, a WAV format. Awesome. If, it's a, if the clients send you a different format, there's a ton of free programs that you let you you know, export is a different file format, but yes. Cool. Um, there's a question here, and auto integrates with Studio Ninja. I don't think it integrates with Studio Ninja. I don't yeah, think so they can do an- It's not a professional there. integration where you press a button and it just goes, but you, um, it, we are integrated with Studio Ninja and you export the order XML, and then oh, you go okay. to Studio Management, pull up your client, and then there's an import fundy button in Studio, yes. in Studio Ninja, and you just import that file. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that is a new. Yes, yes. Awesome. Love it. Um, round prints. We've answered that. Uh, D with the round prints. Crop it as a square. Order it as a square, and then in Photoshop, just yeah. So let around. me show you. Real, you can kind of display as a square. It's not a perf or a circle. It's not a perfect circle. But can everybody see here? Yeah. So let's say if I wanted this to circle, you could pull this up, and then under the uh, settings you can make this a circle ah oh, well there you go that's yeah, close enough you have that white edge yeah all right just, just use a white wall <laughs> but it's close and then i i would also recommend that before you send it to print you also undo that because their circle and this circle might not exactly match yeah all right. right you don't want to end up with any white lines around your image so yeah yes and no yeah cool Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Um, um, uh, what else are we up to? Uh, 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 what is the difference for the pro enhancements? So when you, when you purchase the base suite, which is a one-time purchase, you get three free months of the pro enhancements. The pro enhancements includes the design library. There's about $8,000 worth of goodies in there, including the studio, uh, studio magazine designs, uh, graphic album designs, card designs, um, the uh, stock rooms, music. It oh, also includes cool. the online album proofing, so you can send a link to your client so they can proof their design on their phone or their tablet, and then the uh, one-click skin retouching. That's awesome. And it, how much is that per year? It's like that's, that's one seventy-nine a year. Oh, it's a no-brainer. Just do it, Haley. It'll save you a shitload of time and effort and headspace. Um, uh, so funny, uh, Angela. So funny. We'll resize all. So funny, so Fundy will resize all your image, your finished images for you. Is that what is happening now? That's what we were doing. Yeah. Really. Yep. You click. Yep. Yeah. So we, from day one, that's just how our program works. Like I just assume that when you hit export, it should export your print ready files. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah, it's kind of good. Yeah, resizing and cropping is not rocket science in the software world. So there's no reason it shouldn't. Yeah, Amory, was it just my eyes or did the color look different it, between? It the was export? just my eyes, ignore me. <laughs> it was just your eyes. Okay. There's nothing the coloring behind me, it's awful. It's okay, just, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, Kate had to run. Thanks, Kate, for jumping on for this as, as well. Um, Dee um, is happy now because you can do the round prints. Anne-Marie is loving it because we've used it for ages. You, all right, can you shuffle the images in the slideshow? All right, so you've got 15 images on screen. You've got four of them ordered on the wall and you go, perfect, I'm gonna take those four and put them over here. Can you do that? Oh, you mean in the order of the slideshow? Um, in the thumbnails. So do you know how to all the thumbnails? Not quite yet. Not quite yet, okay. But what you could do is five star it and then you've got the other folder. So there's ways of getting around it, which yeah. is really easy. Easy, 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 no problem. Um, very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Are we able to watch it from the beginnings? Yes, you can, Dana. You've, you've just jumped on. Minus the joking around. Yeah, yeah. Minus the joking around. Yep. Um, you said no to round prints, but there is a way you can set up on the template with wall art. Just, yep. You went through the round prints thing. Yep. Okay. Last question. Can we purchase subs 
subscription to the pro suite without the album design? No. Um, Sam just did yeah. it all. Yeah, you just get, so the we could, but it would be the same price. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just get, yeah, and it's a one time purchase and you get it. You know, it's a it's a hundred dollars more, so just sell one album. Yeah, I'll oh, sell one page, sell one print. <laughs> Yeah, and Sam, you know what you're doing. You know how to sell an extra album print page and stuff. That's cool. Awesome. That is super rad. It is. We're just on an hour, so let's kind of. I'm. I'm calling it that. We are done. I'm gonna press recording. Uh, stopping the record. Thank you so much, Andrew. That is super rad. That you're so available for us to annoy you guys <laughs> so well, much. Well, I'm gonna charge you a drink at WPPI next year. So yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally. <laughs> you pay for my flight. I'll pay for your drink. I'll see you at WPPI. <laughs> <laughs>